Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate funds from operations. This is an important topic in management accounting. It comes in the preparation of funds flow statement for a business enterprise. In the preparation of funds flow statement, the first tip to be carried out is preparation of schedule of changes in working capital. I have already released a video for it. If you have not watched the video, look at the description for the link of the same video and watch it. In this problem, I specifically concentrate on explaining how to calculate funds from operations. I will tend to release few more videos on the same topic, fund flow statement. What is the meaning of fund? Fund refers to cash or cash equivalents or working capital specifically. Funds from operation could otherwise be known as operating profit. However, before we look at the problem related to funds from operation, please have a look at some basic details about me. This is about my area of specialization in teaching and research. Now let's, let's look at the problem. Calculate funds from operations from the following profit and loss account. You are given with the profit and loss account of a business enterprise for a particular year, which is prepared at the end of the year. As usual, you find the expenses, indirect expenses and losses are debited in the PNL account. Then Indirect income is credited in the p and account. Now, before we analyze all these items that are presented in the p and account, you please understand one particular point which I am going to explain now. See, what is the result of trading account a concern purpose? It could be either gross profit or gross loss. In our example, let's say there is a gross profit for a business organization. And what would be the result of preparing profit and loss account? It could be either net profit or net loss. Let's say there is a net profit. So the result of trading account for a business is say gross profit in our example. The result of profit and loss account for the same business is net profit. You please understand the operating profit lies in between gross profit and net profit. But in this problem, see you are given with both gross profit and a net profit of the business for a particular year. Normally, in management accounting, the net profit is taken as a starting point and they do certain adjustments with the net profit to arrive at the funds from operations which could otherwise be called as operating profit. So we are going to reverse certain transactions for the purpose of calculating the middle figure in between gross profit and net profit which is nothing but funds from operation. See that means say gross profit is there, net profit is here, we are going to find out something that comes in between. What are all the items to be adjusted with the net profit to calculate the funds from operations? The items are categorized to be non-operating and non-fund expenses. If an expenditure doesn't fulfill even any one of the two 
it has to be reversed and adjusted with the net profit to calculate funds from operations. And similarly, non-operating incomes and non-fund income. If a particular income falls within this any one of these two categories, it has to be again reversed. I will explain the items one by one and let you know why a particular item has to be reversed and be adjusted with the net profit or not. Now look at the first item in the debit side of PNL account, expenses paid. Since it is plainly given as expenses paid, you can assume that they are other operating expenses. Other operating expenses are fund expenses and operating expenses as well. Therefore, this cannot be reversed for the purpose of calculating operating profit. Depreciation is an operating expenditure. But what about the other criteria? Is it a fund expenditure? No. So it has to be added back with the, the net profit. You have to understand the reason why depreciation is added back. Loss on sale of machine. A business is not conducted to buy and sell machines alone. That is not the main operation of the business. It happens when it is required. It is not a matter of routine. So this is a non-operating loss. So this has to be reversed and be adjusted with the net profit. Discount. It is an operating expenditure and fund expenditure as well so don't touch it goodwill return off when goodwill is debited in the pnl account it's nothing but it's a return off when goodwill is written off it is nothing but a book entry so it's a non-operating expenditure and non-fund expenditure as well so it has to be reversed and adjusted so what items have to be reversed and adjusted depreciation because it's a non-fund expenditure, loss on sale of machine, it's a non-operating expenditure, goodwill return off, it is also a non-operating expenditure. These three expenses or you know losses have to be reversed and added back with the net profit to go back and calculate the middle figure which is operating profit that lies in between gross profit and net profit. What about the items given in the credit side? Gain on sale of land. Yes, it's a fund income, but it's a non-operating income. And therefore, whatever added with the gross profit to calculate net profit, this has to be now subtracted to calculate the operating profit. This is a simple idea behind the calculation of funds from operations. I have already explained now let's have a look at uh, the solution statement showing funds from operations the starting as i said we go back from we take net profit as a starting point we go back and calculate uh, the figure which lies in between gross profit and net profit when we go back we add certain items which are odd ones like either non operating or non fund that's what you know i explained which expenses we identified as non-operating and non-fund expenses, depreciation, loss on sale of machine, goodwill return off. See, what's the title they have given? Items which do not decrease funds are funds from operations, but debited to PNL account. They were debited. It was correct only. It was correct for calculating net profit, but it is not correct to calculate the operating profit. Honestly speaking, if you come down from gross profit, you have to subtract only the other operating expenses to calculate operating profit. If possible, we will do that also. I will explain that concept. You can try at your own. You can calculate the same answer for this problem in that method. I mean starting from GP. Fine. Now, depreciation, loss on sale of machine, goodwill return off, they are added in the inner column and they you know put over there. They are the total of these three items are added with the, the net profit. 
because they are either non operating or non fund expenses what about the item to be subtracted non operating income because we are calculating funds from operations of the business the main operation of the business see for a supermarket which is the main income which is the operating income selling the merchandise is going to give them an amount that is nothing but operating income if the supermarket lets out a small portion of you know its premises to other business enterprise for rental that rent income is a non operating income the primary purpose of running supermarket is to buy and sell merchandise not to let out any portion of the property for rent that's an additional business and if a portion of the capital invested in the business is lent for interest to a third party and the interest income is a non operating income they could become part of the net profit but they cannot become part of the funds from operations make it simple so this particular uh, non operating income is subtracted and they have calculated the funds from operations how this could be calculated in other way please follow my instructions and calculate it at your own start from gp from gp 450000 you subtract the item the item of what operating expenditure the other operating expenditure 3 lakh if you subtract 3 lakhs you get the balance 1 lakh 50 from the 1 lakh 50 you also subtract what the 200 rupees discount and you get 1 lakh 49800 funds from operation this is the other way to calculate funds from operation that's why i said what is that we are going to calculate we calculate operating profit which lies in between gross profit and net profit if you start from net profit you do the corrections that means what the non operating and non fund expenses which were deducted are added the non operating income which was added with the gp is now subtracted to calculate operating profit if you go for the second method start from gp you subtract the other operating expenses debited in the pnl account to simply find out the operating profit or funds from operations this is the idea i hope you have understood clearly what is funds from operation i don't want to rush up this is an academic video please you know try to understand and that is why i want to give the time required for explaining my ideas on every concept thanks for watching this video if you like this video you subscribe my channel to get many accounting videos on corporate accounting management accounting and soon i am going to release videos on financial accounting and cost accounting as well then and marketing subjects also i have released quite a good number of videos so watch those videos if you like them give a like and subscribe my channel so that i'll be motivated to share my academic you know expertise with the learners community thanks for watching this video